Hi beautiful Libras, welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're doing fabulous. Let's see what's going on. I want to ask for the month of September for Libra. What does Libra have to look forward to for the month of September? Things that Libra will benefit from? Okay, this is karma here. What's going on? Hmm. Soul retrieval and middle world, but that's crossing the reed. Let me find out what's going on. Libra. Soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself, your energy, your enthusiasm, or your innocence that you have lost. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. And later, we learn to journey to recover our original nature the self that never left the Garden of Eden. Who still speaks to the rivers, the trees, and to God? When we return to Eden, we are whole again. You are no longer fragmented. You are one with the creation. You have healed the cause of pain that you feel, so you do not need to dwell on it. If you still are hovering over an old wound, find a new flight path. Don't be distracted with the little stuff that you already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. When did you compromise what you truly believed in to be loved or accepted by someone? Think back over your life and find the time or the times when this has happened. Vow never to compromise your integrity again. What have you agreed to in the name of love that you know is deeply wrong? And make it right this instant. That is what is crossing the reed. Middle world. The middle world is a realm of day-to-day -day reality and the playground of the living. It is in the present moment where everything is happening, yet the middle world is created by the future, not only the past, and it is a mirror to the invisible realms. When things are right in the middle world, heaven and earth support everything. When they are not right, heaven and earth must be brought into order as well. The middle world shows up when the conditions are favorable in your undertaking. Do not hesitate. Move forward. Heaven and earth are smiling upon you. The time is right to be expedient, but mindful of not being reckless. The world is your playground, and what would you require a great effort at any other time can be accomplished with ease right now. Do not try to correct the earth, what needs to be corrected in the heavens. The resources to support the change endeavor that you are considering are not readily available to you yet. So it is important to ask for help from the invisible realms, from help helpers in the upper world. For now, wait. Someone is not healing from their childhood wounds. It is not time to act because someone is not healed. The spiral is here with this is karma. Okay, hang on. Someone may have like 
repeating patterns. Ooh, the sorcerer. Hmm. All right. Now, the sorcerer is a very powerful energy. It doesn't... You can use these things for good or you can use them for evil. Let's see what's going on here. This is a source of dark power. The sorcerer represents the destructive aspects of the human psyche and self-centered behavior that harms others. It symbolizes the unconscious beliefs and ideas that fosters separation, conflict, and scarcity. When the sorcerer enters your circle, you're being called to look at how your beliefs around scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world. Examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power or harbors feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry, or hatred. Perhaps you have harmed someone because of these dark tendencies. If so, not all is lost. You have only forgotten that all beings are interconnected and the universe is abundant. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking. You, given, you've given a second chance. Correct your course and practice not blaming others for the darkness that lives inside of you. Make peace with it and choose another way. The medicine of the sorcerer is have you been feeling out of sorts because you've been faced with your own character flaws and the pain that is inflicted on others when you are out of alignment radical self-acceptance is called for now you must reconcile these darker aspects of your nature so you don't have irresponsibly and cause more harm to yourself and the ones you love it's time to come out of denial and accept responsibility for your words and deeds. When you meet the energy of the sorcerer with humility, this destructive power transforms into grace, which you can use in service to the higher good. Perhaps it is time to make amends. Do it. It will set you free from the shadows and let you step into your light. Now this is joy. The hummingbird is joy. Peace. There is karma here. Someone is not healed from some childhood wounds or this is saying taming the wind. This is taming the words you speak. Taming uh, the way you perceive others, perceive yourself or others. If there is time to make amends, it is now time to do it. This could be your energy, Libra, or the energy of someone around you. This is negative karma. Negative karma. It can be used to turn this around. It is nothing to fear. We can use these tools to use the, them to make change in our lives in a positive fashion. Um, not all is lost here at all. This is to face your shadow, fa face the dark side of yourself, confront it head on and make the necessary changes. So, we're talking, and this is judgment. Libra. You are never alone. This is pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. This is indecision. 
I use my intuition in the, all the aspects of my life. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Guilt. I release, release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul growth. So somebody may be feeling guilty. Somebody may be holding on to some resentment, some anger. Uh, it may have flag. Oh boy. Is it that you're feeling guilty for a decision that somebody else made? Do you feel feelings of anger, resentment, or guilt? It needs to be faced and you need to let go of it. If you need to make amends to someone, it is time to do it. If someone needs to make amends toward you, it is time to do it. Hmm. Let's get some financial messages. Did you not love yourself enough? Did you um, hold on to some guilt for not doing what you thought you should have done? Are you holding on to some guilt or resentment? This is indecision. It's telling you you might want to get out of the rat race and become your own boss. Using magic spells or manifesting power is strong. Casting a spell to remove any kind of blockages or negative energy. Be aware of casting the wrong spell or someone giving you the evil eye. Someone in your life may help you get back on track. You could be a firefighter, a paramedic, an animal rescuer, or any heroic profession. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Just don't give up. What are the fortunes for the month of September for Libra, month of September? Birth, universal energy brings you an opportunity or a possibility now this could be an actual birth or this could be the birth of a, a new way of being a new way of thinking fire let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present love surrounds all your connections move forward positively in all areas of your life what is going on here for Libra? What is this soul retrieval? The middle world. Some sort of blockage. What's going on? Okay, this is a tower. This is an upheaval, an emotional upheaval. This is hurt, wounds. This is betrayal. 
this could be negative energy this could be gossip rumor or a betrayal and somebody is walking away from some kind of are you walking away from or walking towards something is pride this is completing a cycle Jeez. This is lack, feeling lack. This is deception. This is holding on to some guilt it's holding on to some guilt guilt, shame, regret. I don't know if this is to do with family, a legacy. Emperor, Empress energy. indecision if someone needs to make amends they need to do it Somebody may have cast the wrong spells. This is a sorcerer. It is indeed. Somebody is casting the wrong spell. This is a sorcerer. Somebody has cast the wrong spell.
they've trapped themselves. This is a negative mindset. <clears throat> a sorcerer is here. See? Oh boy. There is anger and resentment. They cast the wrong spell. It's affecting them. Somebody was talking to a sorcerer. Somebody is doing sorcery here without a doubt. They have cast the wrong spell. And it is affecting somebody else's... They didn't do right. They didn't do right. They cannot use sorcery to cast negative magic on someone anointed. Oh my God. This is sorcery. Someone wanting to get even or someone wanting, you know, our words are very powerful. Words can be sorcery. That's what this is saying. This is all swords here. Someone is very uh, angry and resentful casting some kind of sorcery spell but casting the wrong spell. I'm not sure why it is casting the wrong spell, but somebody's anger, resentment, envy, or anger, it's like it may be causing someone depression, uh, ill health. Um, someone needs to heal their childhood wounds here. Someone is carrying around some kind of guilt. They, If they need to make amends, they need to make amends. It is now the time to do it. There is a sorcerer here who cast the wrong spell. They, they could have been hating the wrong person, or they could have been blaming the wrong person, or they could have been accusing something of, of somebody of something that they are not guilty of. There is guilt here. Someone cast their own spell. It's almost like it, and it's like finances. There is a sorcerer here without a doubt. Someone needs to make amends. wrong spell someone cast the wrong spell this is sorcery i'm i'm sorry they cast the wrong spell 
somebody could have cast a spell upon somebody who is innocent. Words are sorcery. You can use these gifts for good or you can use these gifts for evil. And someone has used their gifts for evil here. They cast the wrong spell because they were jealous or envious of someone's partner, lover perhaps. This is karma. Someone may have been doing sorcery on someone's children or family. I'm telling you, wishing, wishing someone's death or hoping that someone's relationship fails or business fails, wishing ill will, the tongue is deadly. It is. But they're casting the wrong spell. Someone needs to make amends. This is the King of Cups needing to make amends. Yeah, someone is stressed out, worrying about the past, worrying about someone's being haunted here. This is judgment. Wow, someone's worried, fearing judgment, God's judgment. Worried that This person is sitting here. This could be confession. Confessing. Someone, this is atonement. This is confession.
someone needs to apologize to make amends for casting the wrong spell. There is a sorcerer here. This is not good. You know, words are very powerful. Even if there's not actual spell work being done, it's like wishing ill will on someone's family, their possessions or finances. Someone wants to make amends. what's coming up in the month of September. Hmm. You know, using sorcery to create uh, upheaval or using sorcery to they're casting the wrong spell it will backfire on them someone needs to be made whole someone is de not dealing with the middle world they need to go to the higher world they've been dealing with the middle world and they need to someone needs to apologize and make amends it's that simple Someone was either blaming the wrong person or was casting spells on the wrong person. With the words that they spoke, which is sorcery in this case. Not seeing the bigger picture. Not seeing. Someone needs to be made whole. They're casting the wrong spells. They're, this is sorcery. You know, you can use your words for good or you can use them for destruction. In the month of September, Libra, you may have people who want to apologize and make amends for the things that they have done. Or this is you yourself who has to make amends. You know, we've all done stuff, but it's time to make amends, to be made whole. Return whole, release this guilt, release this whatever it is, resentment or anger or whatever it is, pride, loneliness, I don't know. is karma what comes around goes around take care